Hey guys, it's me today, and I'm going to do a new series um, about books I have read, and this might be familiar to your eyes, maybe it's not, if you're like a new person of this book, maybe you guys heard it before, and it's a big record, like a couple years ago, and it's a pretty old book, and nobody really cares about it anymore, it's like Hunger Games, I, I have heard this new book series called The Detergent or whatever it is. I know what it looks like, but I heard there's a movie coming out. Maybe I'll see it, but who knows? Maybe me and Mason are going to see it today, and we'll do, like, a movie review of that. Maybe I'll do a review of The Catch of Fire. I know I already saw it, but, you know, just, um, yeah, so this is a book review and a movie reviews of this series and if you guys want more I will do more for you and this might be familiar to your eyes I'm gonna do a next little kid book or something like that I'm uh, not really a little kid but you know you know what I mean it's not it kind of is serious so I read it for my class a couple months ago I would say last year so this is basically the story will be in more detail in my description box but, um, my teacher had read it a couple years ago, and my mom, uh, no, my mom had read it, um, because she really wanted this book, and it's a movie too, and basically my teacher did not see the movies, my mom and I saw the movie, and I'm trying to get the Hunger Games series, but it would cost me about $50, I don't want to pay that much, but anyway, I'm going to do a review on D -D -D Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, and it's the first one in the series, and I love this book, this is a hand down book, and uh, I read it, and it basically is long, um, because all her books are long. And I got the new copy because I had I had the whole series. But um the first one. Um so I had to buy on Scholastic. And she got a new copy of it. And it's from JK Rowling and I love her to death and she just published a new book. And I might will see it sometimes or it's an adult series. Okay, who cares? <coughs> Sorry if I cough. I'm sick right now. So yeah, do you got that? Um, so here is the book. And here's the back. It's a really cool back looking. Just saying. It's a, it tells a little bit about the book. It doesn't give you too much details about the book. I guess they don't want to keep any secrets. Um, it's a really good book. And the reason why it's bent and all that, it broke it, kind of. My friend had this. And then she gave it me back because I wanted to finish it. So, um, but she's a little bit bad that I finished it earlier. But she has the book series from her brother. And I have heard her brother read the Hunger Games series, and he said it was pretty awesome. I heard it. Okay, so basically, <coughs> <coughs> with the right down with the book is, that uh, it's basically, he's a hobo. <laughs> a little bit. He's a little bit of hobo. Um, <coughs> um, she's from England. J.K. Rowling is, and her books are amazing. And they all did the copy of the books. Um, I'm going to show you that. It's back on the page. So maybe you guys can see it. And there's seven books in all. She should create more. Just saying. I just want to learn more. And this book is amazing. First of all, if you're like, oops, do we like wreck this journal? I'm trying to get that book, but I have seen a lot of it on YouTube, so promise me. <coughs> so basically, it's about um, Henry. He's <coughs> he's like a person, and it's a different to the movies. And I said there's eight, not really. Okay. There's eight movies in total because the Deathly Hollows you guys have heard a couple, like, three years ago or something like that. And, <coughs> sorry, um, that it was in parts, part one and part two. And that, that's what they're going to do with the Walking Jet. And now I heard that if a book and a series, they have to do at the end of the series would do parts. That's how I heard because basically you look at Twilight and all that kind of stuff. Okay, stop with the talking. I might... <coughs>
Monkey J to <coughs> do a movie review. And I had to do The Catch You Fire, but I had to review that because I didn't know. I, I, I was ready, so. So, oh, six minutes long. So, basically, it's a really good book. And I love it to death. She gives a lot of detail, so you can have that picture in your mind. And, um, yeah, so it's a magic world. And I had been remembering with it, I was five and I saw the movie. And I saw it again and it was just amazing to remember guys of my childhood and my life. And it's just, how many pages long it is, it... So it had nine pages in this book, and I know that feels like a lot, and some of the books are like 700 pages. A lot, I tell you. And basically, it's just, he lives at this house, and his um, aunt's name is Aunt Petunia, and Uncle Vernon, I think that's how you pronounce it, and his little cousin Dudley is... Nephew called Deadly. I know that sounds a little bit weird. <coughs> and he sticks with these people because his parents died from this bad person called Voldemort. And they call him you know who because he did bad things. And basically he was a good guy that it to turn into a bad guy. And um, so basically he lives with that. And then he finds this man called Hagrid. Hagrid, and they go to this place and get his stuff for life to go to Hogwarts, and then he meet, meets his friend Rod Weasley and Hermione Dranger, and they're both friends, and it's really, really intense that it's kind of scared if you're like a scared person easily. I know I am. I don't get really get that scared easily. I just, I, I go with the flow, man. I just... Has seen some horror movies and they always a little bit get intense. But, be, but, ugh, I'm singing this song. But, uh, it's really long and gives you details. It's a really good book. And, um, compared to the movies, it's just really awesome. I have heard, and the series are awesome, and everybody seems to like it now. And everybody likes the Hunger Games. But get this book now because it needs to get more popular so they can do, like, another series. I have heard from J.K. Rowling that she is getting a new series that's similar to Harry Potter, but it's not... Yeah, so basically she's doing that this year in the fall, maybe? 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 And she's got a published book out, and... I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. I just saw it on TV. I was like, oh my god, Jack and Molly! And, um, yeah, so basically, there's seven of them, and I'm on the Chamber of Secrets. And when I'm done with that book, I'll go straight to this review, and yeah. And basically, my mom is reading the seventh one when she is done with the first one, and now with the second one. She's crazy. I tell you, she is crazy every single time, and she's always done. And basically, yeah, so that's, I give it 5,100 affinity stars if you're starting with this book. It's really good. Oh. Okay, I had to end off this video because it's getting longer. But anyway, I love you guys so much. And thanks for watching and comment, rate, subscribe. And if you read this book and you think it's awesome, comment that below in that box. Or whatever books that I have. Or maybe you guys want to get new of. Maybe, 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 who knows, maybe not, but, but, but maybe I will do another review, and you guys have heard they did Tabergent, or whatever, they did Tabergent, I'm going to see the movie probably soon, and see, and we'll do a movie review, and um, maybe see if I come to my house when we see the Walking J, and uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be planned, but then I get to see the catchy fire movie, and I have to it for the movie theaters, but, um, I feel like I need to sneeze, but it was really good, and I thought I want to do a movie review <coughs> on that, because people have not heard it yet, 
because sometimes they don't go to the movie theater. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.